So we are in October 2020, and after being closed for six months, we started again with the retreat. And now that is the last day, we have a group willing to share their experiences. Who would like to start sharing the main insights you have during this retreat? I'd say the main insight that I had was um, finding my power um, through the process. And for me, that came very much through the exercises and the uh, you know tools that we were given during the workshops, and then uh, being able to implement those during the session. Um, it's like a million times more powerful than a normal, you know, workshop you could do when you actually get to go practice it uh, with ayahuasca. And so for me, um, the big transformation was getting that, that, you know, that power of, you know, my own spirit and, and being able to navigate with that. One of the biggest transformations uh, was discovering my inner child. Um, and I even feel like saying it right now, like I can't even like begin to put words to like the reality of truly discovering your inner child. Um, <clears throat> I've, I've heard a little bit about like that whole idea before and you know, my, my girlfriend actually talks about it all the time. She's like, I want you to put a picture of your baby self next to your nightstand. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, yeah, I'll get around to it or whatever. Um, but to actually hold my inner child um, and to start creating a relationship with him of trust and protection and reliability um, and all these different things, I just, I just realized that I spent so many years with so many different methods working at like the adult level which really doesn't do anything. <laughs> it doesn't do you any good because you have to be working with the child first and foremost in order to actually have the transformation. Um, and so for me, I think that was uh, a really, really profound thing. Uh, and now I have an agreement to, you know, speak with him every morning and every night. Um, which I would have, I would have not even thought of before. <laughs> so I would say that's been a really, a really big one for me. For me, it's actually kind of similar uh, to Justin. Um, the, the whole inner child idea. Actually, I've um, worked on some methods like that in in therapy, but I never really felt it. I never really felt the presence of my inner child. And that felt so good that I, that I, for the first time in my whole life, felt like what my heart wasn't full of cracks. I mean, I've been happy for the last couple of years, and it's not like I'm all pain and misery. But I felt like I was really whole, and I, I, I was overflowing with self-love. And that was, for me, the best, the best part of the whole journey and uh, also the biggest breakthrough that I had in one night um, comparing to the therapy I had for a very long time. <laughs> so that was good and I'd also just like to add that this whole experience here was also uh, kind of an eye-opener in the way that um, people were vulnerable, that everybody just shared with each other, not scared to, you know, speak their mind and have others think something of it. I mean, you have friends and you talk with them and there are a few friends of mine I share literally every thought of uh, I have with them. But mostly here, I, there was not mo one moment I had to uh, be scared of judgment or it was just okay. It felt like everybody was there and maybe working on something different but that made it so much bigger for me to yeah to feel okay and all the while there wasn't complete seriousness we had a lot of fun too i mean when i came here uh alina was already there so it was two girls and a lot of guys and in a way i really liked it, it, it 
I don't know, it was, it was a fun place, a lot of jokes, uh, the dynamic um, with Sylvia and Tio, I, I really laughed about Tio a lot, and that, that was also for me a really big part of the journey, to, to have that balance in there, and yeah, it helped me a lot through my journey and transformation that I had here, yeah. For me, uh, it was figuring out uh, what did I have to do, prioritize to make myself whole again. Because I, for a long time, struggled with all the things that I want to work on. And it really gave me the insight where to start and how to make my heart feel whole. And um, that was really, really helpful for me. Yeah. I, I came in with, with this lingering doubt um, doubt uh, with myself and being able to express myself and set boundaries um, but and I'd worked on some of this um, some of these issues during my meditation um, but I felt like using the techniques um, from Sylvia and uh, with the ayahuasca um, I was able to um, work on some of these these issues at a more deeper level um, and I came out feeling um, like a lot of this doubt had been removed and I regained my power to, to, um, to be able to express myself more and, and, and be able to set my boundaries. Oh, one of my biggest insights were, was accepting myself as who I am, like fully accepting myself as who I am. Um, including whatever I used to think is negative in myself and whatever I used to judge myself. Now it's just, it's just accepting the fact that everything is part of me and this is who I am and I own everything I am. Even if in other people's eyes could be negative, this is who I am and I, I totally own it. <laughs> which I haven't before. And for me, this is, this is huge. And it's just, it's finding myself, basically. Yeah. What about the workshop? What, which one did you like more? Which one was more revealing? I like the workshop where you would guide us through, um, well, guide us to our sanctuary, that one. Um, I, I know it as the, the Ultramind Silva, Silva method. Um, it was very familiar because I had been practicing before I came a lot of modalities when it came to uh, worship or meditation. And so it was, it was very nice to do that one because I knew how to get there and I knew how to follow you already. Um, and it, it was just peaceful. You, it, it was actually the way you went through your meditation was much cleaner than the I feel the, the Silva method, even though it gives, it's just a basic model, but yeah, that was my favorite because I love getting there with the group. There's there's some power, I feel like, in doing these meditations with the group versus by yourself. Um, where everyone has one intention. I, I feel like that helps heighten the power for everyone in the room. And I, I just love the group meditations. Anything we did group-wise when it came to worship it was my thing. The thing in the workshops for me was just really narrowing in and being able to have a specific intention. Um, I think we talk about intention a lot, like it's a buzzword um, with a lot of things, but it, I've never felt it as deeply in the same way um, as I have in this experience and being able to um, find the intention for the ceremony. Um, so I think now uh, and also, too, in the beginning, probably having too many intentions and not being able to pick one in the workshop really helps you to narrow down and pick that core one that you really want. Um, and that I think I'll take with me into my practices later is just being able to get into a specific intention and then work with that for whatever time that might be. But I felt for me that was very powerful to have that. The, the workshops for me, um... The, the particular technique I, I liked from the, uh, one of the workshops, even though nothing really happened for me in the actual workshop, but um, you know, discovering where um, 
those layers of pain or, or doubt or whatever it is you're dealing with where they are and then um, sending them off for healing. Um, I found that very, very powerful and useful. Um, but I, I really enjoyed the workshops because um, I, I learned from other people. It was nice to hear other people's insights and know that, you know, you know, everyone else has got these issues as well. Everyone's got these same issues that they're dealing with. And, um, you know, and, and Sylvia and Theo created a very safe space to be able to, um, uh, to be able to express yourself and, and not feel judged or, and, um, yeah, so that was, that was one thing I really enjoyed about the workshops. I would say one of the other, um, one of the other things that the, the workshop uh, was able to, to bring up, something that I, um, I guess, had dismissed earlier, Sylvia sort of highlighted, you know, fighting an older brother, hitting you could potentially, you know, be a, a childhood trauma and something that, you know, you need to work on. Um, so that's a, a big takeaway from me and something that I'll, I'll continue to work on. Um, it was something that I just, yeah, that I would dismiss as just, as nothing, but, you know, um, these are the a thing, these are the things that you need to, to be looking at um, that are probably causing a lot of issues down the line uh, that you don't you don't realize you don't realize because you are thinking with the adult mind mm. so it was not that important what happened when you were a child for an adult yeah. but for the child it was very important yeah. and probably very traumatic yeah. That's why it's very important to become the child again. You are the child again, you are feeling the, the trauma, you are feeling the pain, the, you are very vulnerable. When we grow, we are not that vulnerable. Yeah, I would just add to that point. I think um, a lot of times we try to compare our traumas or relative traumas to other people or other scenarios and just other lives and um, it's really just unapplicable like we talked about the smallest of things could be a trauma and there's nothing wrong with that um, or it could be the biggest of things and so um, you really just have to follow your own intuition and just if you if you have a feeling if you have a yearning then just follow that it doesn't have to be you know that your life was, you know, crazy dramatic and all these things happening to you or it could be, it could be a small thing. Like we said, it could be you lost your toy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so simple and, 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 that, and that's great, you know, so, and that's something to, to, uh, to dive into. So, um, I think that's, some, that's a lesson I had to learn kind of the hard way. <laughs> yeah, to acknowledge that that was a trauma mm -hmm. for the child. Probably not important for an adult, but for a child, it's very important. So, to listen and to understand the child for the first time. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, it was painful, I understand. Mm -hmm.